Hi everyone. This video will give you basic information on the use of Microsoft Excel. Open on the screen now is an Excel spreadsheet. I must say there's a lot one can do in Excel and we will not cover everything but the basics for now. And as we move along, cover more information. Let us first familiarize ourselves with the page. The spreadsheet is partitioned into different rows that are numbered and columns that are alphabetically numbered, giving rise to the different cells that you see. The numbering gives an address to the cell and you will see the importance of cell referencing as we move along. Data values are entered one by one on each cell and one can enter both numerical values and characters on Excel, as I'm about to show you. Of course, like I said, there's a lot you can do in Excel. For example, you can do calculations, you can copy and paste between columns. Also built into Excel are different formulas and functions that we will use. Now consider the self-evaluation exercise on page nine of your practical guide. We are asked to enter all even numbers between two and a hundred. We could have been asked to enter all even numbers between two and, and 10,000. The first thing that you may probably think of is that you will have to enter those values manually. However, you can fill the data automatically in the worksheet cells. This is how you would do it. For example, let us click on cell A1 and start and put enter the first even number that is two. Of course, when we press enter, it moves to the next cell. We enter four, we move to the next cell, we enter six, then we enter eight and all that. However, Excel is able to recognize patterns. For example, right now as entering two, four, six, Excel has already recognized that, okay, this person is entering even numbers. So what I can do is use the autofill. What that does is I would have to select the even numbers that I have entered already. How do I select? By clicking on two and holding then dragging down until it selects all three of them. From there, then I will move my cursor to the corner until I get this black cross or whatever change if you're using a different cursor. Then if I get this black cross, I'll click and I'll drag down. As I drag down, you can see already it's showing me what even numbers are being entered. I drag until I get to 100. Oops, I've paused. So then I'll go back, still not releasing until I get to 100. So with these values, I can do different calculations and all that I'll show you just now. But however, I said you can also enter words. It's not just only numerical values that Excel accepts. So I, for example, we are asked to enter the words Coke, Sprite, and Fanta. Let's do that. Coke, I press enter still, Sprite, sorry about that, Sprite, and Fanta. Now, then I am supposed to autofill until I get to the, the even number 100. So what I would do, I'd do the same thing. I'll drag down, select all three of them, then uh, move my cursor to the corner, drag down still when I get to 100. And then Excel has replicated all three different soft drinks. What you can do in Excel, you can also add columns. Say you wanted to do calculations on this column like we are about to do right now and uh, you want to do it on this column, but you've already typed this. You don't need to delete this and do it over again. All you can do is you can right click on the column B and then you'll have this drop down and just click on insert. Even if you wanted to say you wanted to enter or rather write your titles up here, you can do the same thing for row. Right click on uh, row one and then enter it creates the new row for you, then you can put in your titles. Now, say we want to just enter this formula or rather add two to all the 
plus even numbers. How you actually tell Excel that I'm about to enter a formula is by clicking on the cell and the first thing that you need to do is to enter an equal sign. By that, you're actually telling Excel that, okay, I'm about to do a calculation. This equal sign. Then what do you do next? You want to add two to all these even numbers. Okay, you can see this one is two. You can go two plus two. However, then that will limit you because when you try to autofill, it gives you fours all the way down. So if we start afresh, equal sign, the best way to do this is to select the number or to select the cell that has what you want to do an operation on. For example, this is the cell and that's where cell referencing is important. Cell A2, I want to add two to the number that is in cell A2. I add two, I get four. Then when I click that, Excel can autofill. And let's do the autofill, like I said, you move your cursor to the corner until you get this cross. And as I fill up until I get to a hundred, voila, it has done that for all the even numbers. I only did this by clicking on the cell and then adding two. But then as I autofill, Excel moves along and it takes A3, it takes A4. So that's where the cell referencing happens. Now, the last thing I want to show you is the uh, formulas that are built in Excel. There's a lot that I can show you. But for example, let's say you want to calculate the average of this numbers on column B. How you would do it? I told you the first thing, okay, you will click on the cell that you want to return the average. And then the first thing that you would do is I told you to enter an equal sign. Say you want to calculate the average. On this ribbon, there's formulas before, maybe before you enter the equal sign. Let me show you. On this ribbon, there's a lot of formulas already built into Excel. You can go to formulas, click on formulas, more, the statistical formulas. There's a lot. You can scroll down and see a lot of them. One of which is the average formula. So if you click on the average formula, it's already asking you which numbers you want to average. But a quick way to do this is to have your equal sign and then type the word average. You don't have to type all of it, just AV already drop down uh, that you've got a drop down of different uh, formulas or functions that actually start with an AV you double click on average it's already and it gives you the parenthesis in in the parenthesis it says what numbers do you want to average one two three those numbers that you want to average so it is easy for you to say okay I can type in two, four, six, eight, ten until I get to the hundred. But the best way to do it, like we did here, is to select the numbers that you want to average. And you can already see that Excel, Excel doesn't also write the numbers. Instead, it uses cell referencing and says, I'm averaging numbers from A to to A51, you close your bracket and press enter. It returns the average. So we can ask you anything, the sum, we can ask you anything. So one thing that I would suggest is that you go and play around with this. And um, when you have any questions, we'll continue and figure things out together. Thank you.